Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and one of the things that I want to fix in uh, the last episode, we, we talked about how these um, inserters use the information from the logistics network in order to not have a constant stream of bots, first of all, go going from either one. Um, but I forgot that it also relies on the amount of belts you actually have in the system. So for this recycling system to work, you do need to limit your uh, boxes to have only 50 of each item, either that or change the, um, the, the conditions on the inserters. That's one of the things that I wanted to address. Now, the other thing that I wanted to address and um, is that I forgot, uh, because I don't ever use this method, you can actually set your steam engines to backup power only by building an SR latch connected to a, um, a power switch. If the power in the accumulators goes low, then it will turn on the steam engine system. And, oh my goodness, I need to clean this up apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, otherwise let the steam engines run until the accumulators are built up past a certain point. Um, and you can set those two different points as you like. Now, um, thank you so very much to S Black. Shout out to you for showing me that there is this thing on the this page here and I'll try to remember to put a link in the description but it's the it's the wiki page and it has circuit network cookbooks and this wiki page has all kinds of interesting designs some of them are good and some of them I was not that amused with um, and then some of them are old like uh, there's one here for um, pipe petroleum evenly split and I don't know if that would work in the first place but it's also using the old pumps and the old values for things but otherwise this has some really interesting ways of using combinators and one of them is the SR latch single decider version so if you want to use that to use your to do the backup power only um, and it tells you how to set the combinators in here as well so uh, check that out if you're interested in the combinator magic all right let's get back to our game so one of the things also that I wanted to um, optimize is uh, the solar station because I have this issue now where um, we're having some insufficiency or inefficiencies in my uh, estimation i.e. we have a lot of blank spaces in here in the solar network where we could be having accumulators in here because we do have this um, you know this checkerboard design for this so that the we don't really want to waste so many uh, roboports so um, I think what we should do is fill these in with accumulators and then for every four square grid that's one, two, three, four up, and then four across. We did add a couple extras on the side. I think I'm going to have at least one radar per each of those areas. Now, I did add one somewhere, but I think I want to make it part of the blueprint that I set up for that. So let's get on. First of all, let's stop the train. And since blue, and since not blueprints, since radars are going to be a part of our new um, plan here. I think we can put them in in a chest. How many? This is 20 roboports requested. All right, I want to get this guy moved over. So let me blueprint this chest. Uh, shift blueprint. We'll put it there. We're going to move it there. Get these out of here. And then we're just going to use long handed inserters to insert these items that we're going to grab from the world. And we'll get 50 um, radars. Okay. And so these are going to be loaded onto the train at some point. Let's just reserve a wagon for that. Um, yeah, probably don't need that many roboports. I'm just going to use the roboport thing and we will put our radars in here and that'll be just fine, I think. Yep, and there they go and they can be loaded. I did, I believe, uh, put some in the storage chest at the solar station. Um, but we want to, let's just go up there right now. Or do we even need to go up there right now? Probably not. Well, we do, we do, because um, I want to place things in squares. Uh, a couple of people have brought up the point that they replace one of their solar panels with a radar because they're both three by three in area. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do because the four by four area it would be good for uh, putting in some extra accumulators. All right, let's go out and sort this out. 
Because why not? Oh, and we need um, to grab from the world. We're going to get these radars also. We want to have 50 of those at the most. Okay. And I don't think it, I don't know if it grabbed any or not. <laughs> um, probably not. I don't know if it grabbed the other thing that we wanted to. But um, anyway, it should be just fine. So what I want to do is essentially blueprint some of these items. Just click that. Oh, I could even. Are there four squares? There are. There are four squares. Shift that one. Oh, that's lovely. And I'm just going to do this from the aerial view, I think. Just put them in like this. And which area should we have be the radar area? I could do like the bottom right corner, or I could do kind of a middle block, like where this radar is might be a better space for that. I think that might be the better one. All right, and these, ooh. I can't even see these, no. <laughs> All right, here, one, two. I hope that's there. Maybe, maybe it will be there. Okay, we just need to make sure that we have the four square covered. Um, I'd like to get some radar coverage over there as well. Let's see if we can get this taken care of. Let's take this thing out of here. And we're gonna put in the accumulators instead and take out this. And I suppose I could have done all of this remotely if I wanted to, uh, and then put in a radar. So let's see if our bots are going to be responsive to this. They should be. They should be. We are still missing a massive amount of uh, substations, unfortunately. We need to get that organized for sure. What are we missing on red circuits? Do I even want to go look? <laughs> I don't want to look. It's green circuits. It's always green circuits. And the green circuits are because why? Because not enough iron. I think that's it. Yep, and we need to certainly get this... Um, this station going there. Okay, has that been replaced? All right, we now have radar coverage there. How far does that radar coverage go? It doesn't quite cover all of the panels. Hmm, I should move that radar to like the center-ish of stuff, I think. Where is it? Where did it go? Is it here? Is that where we put it? It's right there. All right, so if we move it, to needs to cover what something like three more squares god i hate all this blinking it's driving me crazy uh, one two no we need to move it over just slightly closer to the middle of this thing i think i might put it like right here right this is ish the center yeah we're gonna do that that's gonna be much better okay so we're going to let's grab a solar panel print that there I should have put it in the center. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of that, but it's close enough to be here, I think. And let's see what that looks like on our radar coverage. Boom, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. What is this? Oh dear, <laughs> I've messed that up, haven't I? Okay, that's just awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I get from blueprinting from in the unknown area. Move those that way, please. Okay, just make sure all of the others are looking decent. There we go. There we are. Okay. And I think we've got a blueprint. I think we're going to go with this. Just get the whole thing, grab the whole thing like this. <laughs> That's so good. Wait, are we missing some? Shoot. Yeah, it's not right. It's, um, we missed a corner. Got to get the whole thing. I think that was a mistake there. So we're gonna grab this, come on. There we go, maybe, hopefully. Maybe it just looks weird to me. Probably the way the sprites are compressed here. Okay, I think it's probably correct. Uh, we're gonna put that here, go to our blueprint um, thing in our book and call it Solar Array 4x4, alternating. We're just gonna copy the whole title, delete this from here, I'll rename this, press enter, choose a four, and we have a new blueprint. Fantastic. Very, very excited about this. 
and replace it. And I will replace the one um, in the online, in the Google Drive. So now, now, now we have a little bit of extra accumulators per um, four, four by four grid. Okay, let's stop this train. Do we need to stop it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Boom. Um, and next time we stamp that down, we will be able to use it, of course. Let me get rid of this. I need to put that over there. Do we need this station? Uh, probably not. Oh. I'm going to need to change the blueprint on this as well, I think. Let me go and get that real quick while we're taking our train ride to include the um, that new uh, condition for the, uh, whatchamacallit thing. Okay, solar station, or I could call it station solar, probably. Station solar, solar unloading. Okay. Uh, for the radars, gosh, can't even think today. Right, uh, get our station, put a solar symbol so it helps us find it in the blueprint book. Okay, and go here to my rails book, station solar. Oh, it should have a U as well. Okay, let me just delete this one and get this one, give it a proper icon. Since you can't change icons when you're in the blueprint um, book thing here, uh, for some reason you cannot change icons. I wish you could. All right, rails, there we go. Boom, okay, cool. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my God, I went back all the way. I can't believe I took the train back. Uh, that was not, I should not have jumped off for one thing. That was kind of silly of me. All right, I'll, I'll run back for now while the train, come on, go to base solar, please. And I'll try to stop it as it sort of comes by. Here's our iron base. Okay. I hear it. Stop it. Boom. Oh, that, oh, it stopped faster than I thought it would. Right. Oh, there's some miners that need to be sorted. All right, go to the base again. There we are. I can't believe I, I went round trip essentially. <laughs> oh, too funny. Okay, so, right, we're going back to the base and we're going to start getting these sit stations situated. Um, and all of this, of course, is giving us much more time to craft some stack filter inserters, which are desperately needed. Okay. I could also sort of unload some of this junk in here. Good lord. Oh, it's already being taken because it's in my um, my junk slots. All right. Stack filter inserters, where are you? There they are. Go shopping. Yes, I have 132 now. Perfect. What else do we need here? Do we need... We have regular stack inserters. Okay, I think... I think that's kind of what we want. We wanted to have four, um, four lanes for iron coming out and eight for copper. We need more belts. We have lots of lots of belts, so that's fine. Um, do, 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 do. I think we're pretty good otherwise. Uh, because we desperately, desperately need more of those red circuits to, to happen. All right, shall we? I guess we can just run down there. Or we could take the train to go to smelting. Though it's probably just faster to run at this point. Especially if I took that walkway that's there. <laughs> okay. All right, these guys are full up. That's doing really, really well here. And these guys, looks like there's a little bit of a deficit in the iron coming in from this area. Is that that second line that we built? Probably. Wait, which one is not... Oh, it's this line here. Oh, no, 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 it's this here. Interesting. So for some reason this is not quite balancing properly. In fact, balancing very badly. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's not going really well at all, is it? Well, it's not backing up anywhere except for a little bit over there. I don't think it's worth putting in a second balancer. These guys are almost dead, though. Yeah, those deposits are kind of on their way out for sure. All right, let's have the, uh, the bots build this thing. Well, mostly have nanobots help as well. They're very, very quick about things. There we go. Good, 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 good. So bots are coming back into the fold. I wonder how many um, modules I have. Power, oh my god, I can't believe I ran out of radar. <laughs> um, we're going to fix that problem very shortly, though. Uh, ooh, did I put this in my new... Yeah, I did. All right, so get rid of this. I can put in a radar here, please. Bots, fix that for me. Um, right, so now we have our two stations here, and we're going to need to have these curves go to the left instead of to the right. Okay, there we go. And I think what we'll do is we're gonna get rid of this line here right now. We're going to stop steel production for the moment because I'd like to use this space for the track turnaround. Um, what I wanna do with these lanes is cross over actually. How far do they go? And go from here. One, two, three, and four. Okay. This is going to... These guys, I want to go to the left so that I can um, put them in a nice little balancer and then have the output come out. Because as these things come off of the train, um, they can come... They can get misbalanced. Right, we do need to set the combinators on these guys. I probably should explain how this station works, and I think I'll do that right now. All right, let's get our power pole here. Get this strung across there. Okay, and what am I needing? Stations? Do I not have... I don't have a station. I don't have a station! No! All right, let's go back up and get those stations sorted. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's get the stations, these stations, I should say, into my inventory. I think we're good on pretty much everything else. I don't need more signals for sure. Oh, looks like brick production is um, going only on one line. We'll ha we need to make a better brick production as well. This is just kind of like from our bootstrap base and it's not going uh, precisely the way I want it to. All right, so we have our lines of um, copper coming in here. Let's look at our belt balancers. Uh, let's go E. And I should start requesting um, blue belt as well as red. Not that it'll come here because I don't think we're in the zone yet. Do, 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 do. Okay, oh, there's my 16 to 16 book of balancers. Okay, shout out to you, Johnny. I have not tried any of these yet, uh, but we may get there. Um, all right, balancers, here we are. We want to go with an eight to eight. And at the moment, we just need red stuff. So we're going to convert this with upgrade planner from red or blue to red. All right, cool. Get rid of upgrade planner. Now, the question is, we need to put this sideways, I think, like this. Because the railroad's gonna curve this way. So we need all these guys to go in here. Boom, nice. Okay, cool. And these guys are iron ones. And those will convert to a 8 to 4 balancer. Okay, how do we want this track to go? That is the big question. Probably just really easily, like this. 
we can actually leave these uh, the lines there so we don't disturb the steel at the moment. Oops, not that one. Don't want to get rid of that one. Okay, and we have this. Very nice. Let's get regular signals along the track here as uh, we're going to take the trains out now. The big question is... Um, how far should we continue this? Should we, we probably should bring this back onto the main line around here, but we do need to leave space for our belts to curve there. Uh, so that we have this corner. I'm kind of wishing for picker extended at this moment because it has a corner brush, um, for belts. <laughs> which is extremely handy. Okay, there we go. But we have our corner. There's the corner. And we'll just do this like this, I think. Oopsies. Move, move, move. Um, and we're just going to copy this here. I'm going to get rid of those and do this. Oops, too many, too many. And now we have the freedom to change our um, track any way we want it. We can turn which is probably a really good idea, maybe like here, to go back onto the main line. Okay, so that's how we want to set that up. All right, so let me talk about these stations just a little bit. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for my train station designs, um, and it's interesting what I have I have seen as responses. Um, but I think that you know every train station that I have made in this game, I have always made my own. I haven't ever copied anybody's blueprints, I don't think. Um, I might have tried out an idea, but then I improved upon it and did my own. And I have spent hours and hours and hours um, coming up with new designs. And I think it's one of the funnest, most interesting parts of the game. Um, right now, I don't have my train stations on the Google Drive because they're not totally perfected yet. When I'm happy with them, I may put them up. But I also want to encourage you guys, please try out your own designs. Um, it's a lot of fun to, to play in Factorio and come up with uh, different things. I have tried everything from doing just, this is kind of like a simple design where it lane balances as it goes out. We have you know, or coming uh, three three chests per side of the belt. Um, technically, it only takes two filter inserters to, or stack filters at full uh, tech, i.e. stack, what is it called? Stack size tech, stack something. Oh, yes, stack inserter, inserter capacity bonus. That's the name for it. Uh, two of those at full bonus to saturate a blue belt. And right now I have three just to kind of make up for any tiny little bits. Um, and so those go on to each of these belts. Those are all the same on either side. Um, this one has the inline thing just so it doesn't get into the other side there. They all come out uh, and then, of course, we put them into a balancer just in case somehow the cars get misbalanced uh, or something like that. But it's always good to balance the lanes of the belt before um, mixing it with other lanes so that everything gets a fair chance to be used and all that kind of stuff. I also have connected here, I have all of the chests connected, or not the chests, the, the stack filter inserters um, connected to a combinator. And this combinator just says, this is one I want to take into this station. I want copper in this station. So if by chance, somebody mysterious drives by with an with a with an iron ore train we do not want iron ore to get into the station it's only accepted in the ones that have the iron ore in the combinator so basically this is a very very simple station we have six uh squares per car when you put them in we can put this down if we want to and you can also see when you have the locomotive in your hand they um the spots where the cars will fit and it is six uh chests across so it makes it very very handy for us to um to unload these things um this is a uh, i've tried the splitter method i've tried all kinds of funky methods but this seems to work very very reasonably well it splits it evenly enough i'm not that concerned of you know count perfect uh, unloading of stuff. I know a lot of people are very interested in that, in, the, in that, and that's really cool. Um, but I just like to use a simple method because it's it works for me. We're you know transporting so much material that it's not worth uh, worrying about. Okay, um, right. So now we have our belts going out here. 
One, two, three, four, five. You know what? We only need six. We don't even need eight, do we? We need an eight to six. Do we have an eight to six balancer? I don't know. We might just use the eight to eight and then not use two of the outputs. That's definitely an option. Do we have, is there such a thing as eight? There is such a thing as an eight to six. But the question is, will this, um, <laughs> I almost don't trust it though. I almost don't trust it. Um, will it, will it give full throughput? That is the question that I have on that one. I could try it. Let's try it. We'll, we'll see what it's like, right? We'll try that. See if it works for us, if we like it. Okay. This one should come. For, oh, we could, we could even move some of this to the side. Because I've tended to not really like balancers that don't give full throughput. I, I find that it's kind of not useful in a game where you have tons and tons of throughput. Okay, there we go. I should have copied that corner and I knew it as I was doing it. I was like, no, oh, I should, I should copy that corner. Oh, but that's okay. We're, we're going to be fine. All right, we're not going to use these two here. Okay. And that one and that one can also go by the wayside. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to prioritize. These are one, two, three. I'm going to prioritize some of these, um, the mines that we have next to the base. Let's go get more belt. You know what I really need? I need to extend the robot network down here because we are going to need to get fuel to these trains. So why not do this? It's probably a dumb place to put that, to be honest, because who's ever going to walk over there? Nobody. <laughs> Pretty much nobody. Um, do we need any of this? I think it's okay at the moment. Let's find out what fuel we're using here for the trains. It is uh, coal or wood. That's just fine. Um, do we want to just grab it from here? We could. We could grab coal from here. Do we have coverage? We could, we could run a line here. That's one option. Or we could just simply put the coal in its own um, little... Ooh, look at that. There's power poles there already. Fantastic. All right, they're going to bring me stuff. Thank you. I really would like some termite bots as well, if you can afford to do it, robots. I'd be looking forward to those. All right, we're getting coal. We're getting wood. We're getting stuffs. And that way we can recycle some of the wood and stuff like that. Oh, I came across a really uh, funny, <laughs> very, very funny idea of using up wood, using burner inserters to transfer from chest to chest. And they were all requester chests. And it's like, oh my God. It was a weird, very strange way of using up burner inserter uh, wood. All right, come on. Can you do it? Thank you. Okay. And I think what we're going to do is just have this. And we'll put this in a passive provider chest. Ooh, I only have five left. Let's order more of those. See, this is, this is the mall with online shopping is what this is. <laughs> okay, let's get that that way. Nice. Do I need anything else? I think I'm okay. We're just short of red belts because we're converting them mostly all into blue belts for the moment. Okay, that one goes there. And with this, I suppose what we could do is shovel all of this. We could connect the iron up here to the train station entirely and then shove this stuff towards steel. That's that's another good option, I have to admit. Um, maybe, I think I want to remove these as well. Move them one square closer. Like, the, uh, not like that. Don't do that thing. Don't Please don't do that. That's not what we want. No. Boom. Okay. 
And these will go one space further or farther, depending on where you're from. Okay. Let me... There it is. Boom. There we go. Fantastic. All right. And I think that's a really good idea. I think we should take, for now, this um, iron that way. And we'll also take... Oopsies. There's a signal there. No. And we'll just take the iron from the train station in this case. Yes, thank you, bots. It's very kind of you. Thank you very much. But I got stuff to do. I really got stuff to do. Okay. That's an interesting thought, isn't it? I like this idea. I really do. All right. And here, we're going to need to have an 8 to 4 balancer. Is there one that's good? It's just kind of a simple one, I think. Which should be fine. I think it should be just fine. Let me grab this here. We'll remove all this stuff. Just get the... Just the undergrounds. That's all we really are concerned about at the moment. And... We need to get this 8 to 4 going on. How do we want to do this? Ah, we can just do it simply like this. That's very easy. I like it. Whoopsies. Something went wonky. And then we have two. Hmm. All right, not too bad at all. And these guys can connect to these guys. How are we doing on the track situation? Right, we have no track situation at the moment. Um, we may even have to put the track further south. I'm thinking maybe over here, because we do want a room for a parking lot here of some kind, some description in any case. Let's get, uh, I don't want nanobots, I want my termite bots out here. Start clearing out all these trees. We have way, 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 way too many. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. I'm stuck in the trees. No. Oh, I'm really tempted. You know what? I have grenades. Why not? Why am I not using them? Oh my god. At least now I can walk a little bit. All right. Wow, all of this forest clearing. Jeez Louise. So much, so much. So many trees. Now the question is, how do I want to set up this parking lot? I could set it up, um, let's just see, like this maybe. Now, the question is, is there space? No, there's not space. We'd have to move these things, which is okay too. We can move them. Like this. We'd have to do this kind of a thing. And then have parking. Maybe we should do di diagonal parking on this. So I'm going to move, put it kind of centrally here. Alternatively, we could do it another way as well. Let's, let me look and see what we have in terms of parking in the Rails book. Uh, we have this way, or we have that way. Like this. Could align it like that. Ish. Let's try that instead of this whole thing here. What is it going to take to get this one connected there? That's my new question with that. Like that. 
and then use this parking like this. Is that what we want? Kinda, maybe? Is that gonna take us too far down? It doesn't really matter. Distance really does not matter in Factoria. We gotta remember this. I think that's kind of what we want. It will not interfere with the outgoing part, which is also quite important, I think. Let's get rid of these trees here. Bye-bye. All right, let's go back to nanobots. And um, wow, all the decimation, boy. <laughs> I feel kind of bad getting rid of all the trees because they are quite pretty. But on the other hand, you kind of got to go or else we'll, um, we may have issues here with stuff. There we go. There are nanobots responding and we're going to run out of tracks. <laughs> we're going to run out of tracks very easily here. Let's get um, these last bits of trees sorted out. Oh my god, are those my bots? <laughs> oh, poor things. All right, let's get some stuff going on here. No more tracks, I'm guessing. All right, we're going to have to go back and get tracks and things. Well, didn't need that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, that's okay, though. We're good. We'll be fine. I think we're going to have to run the railway system um, below this coal patch, have it go right down this way, maybe come around this way. And then, oh, yeah, we might have an issue with the steel. Or, alternatively, we could put the train station for steel around here and not disturb any of this stuff because we don't really want to go above the oil patch there. There's really not enough room for any of this stuff. All right, um, one of the things, well, let's go get some more rails first and get a few more items. I can even call for them. Let's just do that. Online shopping for rails. Here we go. 200, please. I think that should be enough. Well, maybe not enough. Maybe let's get 600 instead. Okay. While we're waiting for this, do we have... Ooh, we don't have shopping over in this area, alas. We could make shopping in this area. Yeah. Let's just put this one here for now. I just want to be in a place where I can get service from my bots. Oh god, no, no, no. Wrong iteration there. Alright, and these are going to go this way. I could even just do the whole thing this way like this. Okay, nice. And that one's gonna go this way. Now we can finally, should we reroute this? This is the good question. I don't, ah, uh, let's get the rails finished up first and then we can reroute stuff. All right, so how many rails we have? <laughs> we don't have many rails. Oh no. Oh my goodness. It'll be fine though. It'll be fine. We'll be we'll be okay. Come on bots, you can bring me stuff. You can be be faster than this. The mail order catalog should be well not mail order. Like it could be email order, I suppose in a way. We'll clear out some of this next time we're out there. Just automatically pick it up. All together. Wow, that is like completely done over there. Jeez. Ooh, and the stone. We really need to get this stone sorted out. It is just awful. I'm using this very small, small, tiny temporary array. And it's just not working well. Not at all. No, indeed. All right, so that's that's a lot of track for now. I think we're good. We are good with track. We now just need to connect all of this up to our system. Uh, one of the things I mention, I want to mention about parking is that 
trains come into the parking where there is a single chain signal and then there are regular signals and those go at the backs of the trains okay uh, at the front of the train where the locomotive is they need to have the chain signal here so that they check out which of these stations is functioning um, and go and can go to the correct one so that's uh, how those parking lots should be arranged if you decide to use blueprints I have all my parking lots in the uh, in the Google Drive um, here we're going to call this, this is going to be GC uh, iron ore or maybe we just call it GC iron yeah we'll call it GC iron for now and copy this station to this one and change this one to copper because obviously we do not want to have this being the same copper here we go and we'll have to get our trains sorted out so that they can come and pick up materials to that end we want to make sure that we have enough um, space here to utilize these uh, bits here there we go and then get our blueprints a going I'm thinking I should turn off my regular robots because they are just so slow. They're actually inhibiting me because they take up, um, put, oh no, <laughs> I didn't mean to go and abandon me. No, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, dear me, dear me, dear me. Come on. There we go, nanobots. You can do it. Excellent. They're good bots. Good bots. All right, and we want to go up, which way? Is this fine if we just go up here? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. We'll just do kind of like a, a sideways thing right there. And here with this, remove these guys altogether. I don't think we're gonna to need to go, are we gonna to need to go south here? Maybe, you know what, maybe, maybe. Let's take this whole thing out and put a T-junction here. Um. Let's put that there. Okay. What happened here with this? Oh, that's interesting. Put that one there. Okay. Um, and that should be just fine. Let's go up. There we go, nanobots. Go, go, go. I wonder how many I have on order. I should have 200. Good. That's exactly what I want. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, we don't want to go that far. We kind of want to draw the line there. Okay. However, this needs to be moved. This whole thing is just not great. Copy and paste this. There we are. I also want to remove this turnaround. I don't think it'll be useful anymore. There we go. Very nice. And now, I think what we would like to do is put down this blueprint over this other area so that we, at least we get our power poles along the way constructed. Okay, and we want to get rid of some of this and hmm, get rid of some of this. Um, we're just gonna go like maybe from here-ish. Take this and do a nice diagonal here. There we go. Oh, and that's perfect. Look at that. Very nice. We're going to shift click this to lay these kind of in a, in the ghost fashion. And it, if, when we shift click them, they mark the trees for deconstruction. This is really only useful once you get uh, robots, either that, or when you, um, if you're doing it by hand, you can just see which trees that you'll need to, to take down 
which is okay too. All right, I think we should be fairly good there. All right, we have this whole thing going round. All right, and it works. There we go. Yes, we can. Oh, this is so exciting. We can now have trains coming out here. We also need to do our very, very useful rails in and out blueprints here. So let's take this out. Um, we'll get the others from our, this is rails out here. We need to go rails in here. And we're going to have to alter the signals on these rails blueprints because um, with the entrances and exits being so close together, we ne definitely need more chain signals so that they don't end up blocking each other for some reason. So let's do that. Let's get one more long length of track if I can find it. Oh my god, I hate this. Like, <laughs> I am not a fan of the new... Um, you know, that you can't choose what you want in a book. You just have to scroll through it. It's so inconvenient to me because if you have a big blueprint book, it's almost impossible to find what you want. You just have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling forever. It's extremely annoying. Um, I wish that option was back because I never used it in, in this one. Uh, right, so let's get rid of this signal um, because these are overlapping tracks. I would, oh, we're out, are we out of chain signals? Dear me. Let's go and collect some. Uh, what we could do also is have the train. Aha, this train here, specific, not that train. Our manual mode train come to the GC iron, please. Um, go there, please. And it should have some stuff on it. Hoping it has some, some signals. But we're going to have it park up here for now. And once we get those signals in place, we can actually have a train coming from here uh, to get iron. This is going to be really, really exciting. Yay. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff while we're waiting for the train. That can go away as well. Um, we don't need this at the moment. We just need more green circuits. Okay, that one is done. Hey there, little train. How you doing? Do you have stuff for us? Do you have any? You have no signals. <laughs> oh, game trolls KOS. It's a thing. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. I. I. Ha you know what? I haven't set up the building train yet, and I really need to because I. Um. Obviously, we're missing stuff. Um. One other thing that we need to do is capture one of these. Um. Whoa! Look at this. Holy fuzzy cats, it's like big, big biter bases. I also need to kill this biter base soon. What's pollution looking like? It's not even coming close, so we don't have to really worry much about um, the biters coming at the moment. But man, those are big nests over there. Ugh. Man, look at all these substations that are missing. Once we have those substations, though, it's going to be really very useful. To do stuff. Okay, I don't want that many rails. We're done. Thanks. I, I appreciate it, but we're done. Thank you. Oh, and we need regular signals along this stretch as well. So let's get these guys going. Kind of put them ish a train length apart. It's really not that critical at the moment. Uh, there's not going to be that many trains coming along here. Okay, so here we have this. We definitely want chain signal here because of the busyness of this corridor. This one has to be a chain signal as well. We don't want one stopping here and then blocking this entire thing. That would not be useful. Um, I think we should have one here and here too. And I believe that is kind of all we need. I'm kind of looking at all the rest of the signals. I believe that's all we need. Uh, for now. Okay, so we can set up a train. Hooray. Do I have any train parts on me? I do. Hooray. That's nice. Okay, um, building train. How about you go and take a break? Go to your building train world. Sorry I summoned you. It was completely a mistake. Um, <laughs> all right, let's put in our brand new iron train. Four and... 
Can I copy something from midair? I don't know. This is a good question that I'm... Can I copy like this? I don't think so. Can I? No. Doesn't want... No. Alright, we'll have to do it just manually then. Please. Okay, we will copy all the little squares. I'm hoping that 0.16 will include some kind of easy way to copy these things or like fill with stuff. There is a lovely mod that does this, um, but I'm trying to use as few mods as possible in this particular playthrough. Um, right, now, I want you to go to, we're gonna have you go to base green circuits first. Where is it? It's under GC iron. Right, inventory empty. And then I want you to go to, go to iron one and go to inventory full. Okay, and you need to be a different color for sure. Is, is it blue and green? Yeah, perfect. Now the next thing we need to do is pull out the train. We need to pull past that, that um, the thing that's gonna give it fuel. I wanna just set up a second train with exactly the same parameters. Um, hopefully I have enough cars. Two, three, please. Four. Yes, we do. Um, and this makes it also easy to copy stuff, like copy the engine orders. So I'm going to copy them. So we have this nice little thing going on. We can also copy the wagons. Boom. Right. <laughs> no, this is good. I'm so excited. We're getting trains actually going to their destinations. Uh, no, wait. You go, go to Iron One, please. You also please go to Iron One. And hopefully we, they shall return soon with lots of stuff from Iron One. Uh, now is time for us to switch over these other um, these materials here. Let's get rid of these belts in this area. Go this way. Actually, no, 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 no. We want you to do something else. Sorry. This way, that way, and these go that way and that way. Okay, I don't know how I got that so messed up. Boom. Okay, perfect. And these guys are gonna go... Boom. Life is now better, you can just tell. How are our trains doing? Are they at iron one? They're both filling at iron one. Iron one is producing. Oh, this is good. Look at all this. All the miners are doing well. Oh, this is where I needed that 16 by 16. I was having a discussion earlier. Yes. Um, right. I probably should see if we have a better one for that. Um, right. Or if we want a different one for that. Either way. Let's see, this is still generating a little bit of coal. It's actually stuck on iron at the moment. That's fascinating. And after this, we need to connect up the steel. Uh, or you know what? Let's just wait till the train arrives and make sure everything's going swimmingly. Uh, and we'll save the connections for the next episode because we're actually at 52 minutes at the moment, which is a very long episode. Uh, actually past 52 minutes, as I recall. All right, we now have stuff happening. This is good. We shall now have lots and lots of green circuits happening. We will connect up those iron um, from the furnace columns to the green circuit array in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.